Hi, I'm Helen and welcome back to the next in our series of Easter Reflections. So far, we've looked at Lent and Palm Sunday. Today, we are going to look at an event that happened during Holy Week. I'm going to show you some pictures. How do you think these people are feeling? Are they hurt, upset, frustrated, angry? In today's story, Jesus had some very strong feelings about something that he saw. Here's what happened. After Jesus had entered Jerusalem as king, he went straight to the temple. The temple was where Jewish people would go to offer sacrifices and to worship God. It was a sacred place. But when Jesus arrived, he was not happy with what he saw. In fact, Jesus was angry. The temple was more like a shop than a place of worship. There were many people in the temple, but instead of worshipping God, they were busy buying and selling things. Jesus was angry that the temple was not being used to worship God. So he overturned the tables and forced the traders out of the temple. Jesus said to them, It is written, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. After Jesus had overturned the tables, he stayed at the temple a while longer. Some people who were blind and lame came to Jesus and he healed them. There were also children in the temple that day who were praising Jesus, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. But Jesus wasn't the only person who was angry in the temple that day. There were chief priests and teachers of the law there too, religious people who knew lots about God. They saw Jesus healing people and they heard the children praising Jesus, and this made them feel angry. They were angry with Jesus and what he was doing. Then Jesus left the temple and left Jerusalem and stayed in a place called Bethany. In today's story, Jesus felt angry because what he saw happening in the temple was wrong. And there can be times when we feel angry over things that are wrong too. Maybe we feel angry when we see animals being treated badly. Or maybe we feel angry when someone is treated unfairly, like if your friend was given a detention for something they didn't do. But there could also be times when we feel angry because someone has done something to us personally. Maybe someone has called us names or has physically hurt us in some way. Maybe someone has told lies about us or sent us a horrible message online. And it's understandable to feel angry in those situations. But how do we react when we feel angry? Do we walk away and count to ten? Do we lash out and hit back? Do we break things? Whenever we feel angry, it's important that we learn to control our anger. So have a think. What makes you angry? How do you react when you feel angry? Is there anything that you need to change? Thank you for listening. Now is the time for you to think and reflect about what you have heard. There is a sheet that accompanies this video, which you can print off and complete. Alternatively, you can keep watching and the questions will appear on the screen. You will need to pause the video after each question and write down the question and your answer.